Bain Brothers is one of the most recognized names in the maritime community. Back in 1898, some schoonermen came here from the Eastern Shore and started a small ship chandlery, which is basically a hardware store for ships in Fells Point. In that time, the business has grown and evolved, and after four generations, it's become one of the most respected and technically advanced on the East Coast. Vane Brothers started in 1898 as a purveyor of marine supplies to the sailing community here in the Port of Baltimore. Over the years, Vane has changed in many ways. 1941, they built their first self-propelled oil tanker, 6,000 gallons. They called it a galley oil boat. She spent most of her time here in the Port of Baltimore delivering gasoline and kerosene and galley oil to the sailing vessels. As the romantic sailing era came to an end in the 40s and Liberty ships and Victory ships were being built by the hundreds, Vane Brothers became a primary source for delivering bunkers or fuel to these Liberty and Victory ships. From 1941 to present, we now operate a modern fleet of about 140 vessels, 700 men that operate from New York down to the Gulf of Mexico. To keep track of their expanding fleet and better serve their customers, Vane Brothers created a state-of-the-art operations center. This is the hub of our traffic operation in which we dictate and control the movement of 120 plus vessels all over the United States. This previously had been done with, an, with a series of index cards and boards with pencil and paper. Allow me to show you my media wall. On the bottom screens, on my plasma screens, I have the, the weather channel on one side and CNN on the other. The weather is the number one priority of our focus in the safe movement of petroleum. The news channel, of course, is up there because we like to watch what's going on. Any event that would change the price of oil will cause our activity to increase. The big screen is a real-time representation of where all of our vessels are deployed. Presently, our fleet is deployed in this way. If the icon is red, we're stationary, and if it's green, we're moving. Each one of the flags indicates another office that Vane Brother operates along this coast. Each one of those offices has an operation that we're able to have live webcams showing what's going on at the dock. If I hover over any one of my vessels, I'm able to bring it up on screen. What we'll do is we'll will show you some of the interfacing. I'm going to show you presently the Pocomoke, which is in the New York Harbor area. One of the things that we're able to do hovering over it is it gives you the speed, the status, the compass heading, the longitude, latitude, and when it last reported. I can see the crew that's aboard. And when I say I can see the crew that's aboard, we can see who is aboard this date. There's my captain, my mate, my engineer, and two deckhands that are working. The system also provides weather updates, visuals of ports, and much more useful information that helps keep track of their fleet. Vane Brothers operates a number of barges that range from 10,000 barrels to 140,000 barrels. And this would be an example of an ATB, articulated tug barge. We built this in 2006. Um, she's a 140,000 barrel double hull barge with a tugboat attached to the stern. And the ATB, articulated tug barge, stands for a tug connecting to the barge on 50 inch pins. The advantage of that is we can use a tugboat to push a barge or a small tanker 600 feet long through rough weather. We can crew it with eight to nine men instead of 15 men. And most importantly, from a risk perspective, if there's a fire on a vessel, it usually starts in the engine room. If there's a fire on this vessel, the tugboat, the engine room, can be released from the cargo. And you can save the cargo and you can sacrifice the boat. When the ships arrive, they need fuel, they need lubricants, uh, they need certain services for their safety equipment. And Vane Brothers offers those services. This is a part of Vane Brothers Marine Safety. What we're doing here, we're doing inspection, service, recertified marine safety equipment and life rafts. This is a very, very important part uh, of marine safety because all this equipment, they got to be inspected every year. Of course, every ship who come in the port of Baltimore, they carry life rafts. 
time is a very critical here because mostly they carry like five life rafts on board and we are just dealing maybe with the seven, eight to ten hours uh, time period to turn this around. But we have enough uh, technicians here and spare parts. In this business there is no maybe. When they pull this line, this have to work. <laughs>